all of military weapons in the 18th century were using flintlock technology. And so a flintlock uh, firearm uses a, a type of rock called flint. And when I pull the trigger, the flint comes down and strikes this piece of steel, making sparks. These guns, uh, there's many chances for these guns to misfire. Uh, if your powder gets wet, the gun may not fire. Uh, if, if your touch hole gets clogged up with fouling, the firearm may not fire. And uh, also if your flint doesn't make a spark, the firearm may not fire. And so armies in the 18th century typically carried a sidearm like this bayonet. The bayonet is a, a knife that affixes to the muzzle of the firearm turning it into a large spear, which is guaranteed to work in any weather condition. Folks, I'm going to demonstrate loading and firing this musket. Uh, just so you know, we're just going to be firing a blank today. Our, our neighbors really appreciate that. Uh, but I'll be going through the, the loading procedure. Soldiers in the 18th century trained to fire three shots in a minute. And they were able to do that by using a cartridge box and cartridges. Cartridges have a measured amount of black powder in them and if we were live firing this gun also our one ounce lead ball as well. First I half cock the firearm and I reach into my cartridge box and I take out a cartridge. I'll use my teeth to open this cartridge and pour in a small amount of powder into the pan. I shut the pan and pour the rest of the powder down the muzzle. This is also when the bullet would go in and the paper also goes in at this point. The paper holds the bullet and the powder inside the barrel of the gun. I draw my rammer and I use the rammer to push the ammunition down into the uh, breech of the gun. Turn my rammer, and at this point the fire lock is loaded. Make ready! Present! Fire! <laughs> 